I'm just going to make it for another macaroni and cheese with buttermilk. So what I have here, I just boiled the macaroni. I measured about one, two and a half a cups. I cook it until it's al dente. I just read a point to it on the back of the box. And I'm just going to give you guys to show you what it looks like. What I'm using for razzoni large elbows. Now what I just have here on a medium high heat, I melt six tablespoons of salted butter. Then I'm going to use it with the non-stick skillet. I'm going to sprinkle a fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour to make a roux for the sauce. I'm going to use it with a wooden spoon to get everywhere for the raw flour. You get a nice and smooth paste, just like this one. It just smells like popcorn for the butter and the flour to make it in the roux so you get a smooth paste. Now, I'm just going to be using for about like two and a third or two and a half cups of buttermilk. I'm just going to pour it slowly. These are reduced fat cultured buttermilk. I'm just going to keep stirring around to get it nice and thickened before we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. This is getting almost turning over with the buttermilk. I'm just going to keep stirring while we're waiting for the sauce to get me thickened. I'm going to quickly put in our two tablespoons of Dijon mustard to keep it nice and tang. Just gonna keep stirring around. I can smell the Dijon mustard. Of the flavor of the buttermilk. Just keep that stirred. Look at that color. Very bright and yellow. The sauce is almost on the way to thicken. I'm going to season a half teaspoon of kosher salt that I'm going to use it for and brown black pepper according to taste. Can you see it? It's almost getting thickened. I'm going to use uh, one teaspoon of garlic powder and a half teaspoon of onion powder. I'm going to use a Worcestershire sauce. It's about like a fourth, a half, a fourth. I think this is one teaspoon, I guess. Now I'm going to put it into the cheese. I have about a pound of cheddar cheese that I just already diced into the cubes. And don't forget to turn on low heat. So one pound, which makes about two cups, I guess. Just want to melt the cheese. It took a long time to melt it. We'll see how that goes with it. Almost the cheese is melted. I like to add more of the cheese. I like to use the half mozzarella cheese about an other cup. So that's only three cups of the cheese, two for the cheddar and one for mozzarella. I'm going to keep melting the cheese. Here it is. The cheese is almost getting melted over. Now we're going to pour the cheese sauce that we just made right, right over the pasta now I just already preheated the oven for 400 degrees Fahrenheit want to make sure the oven needs to preheat it would be nice and hot and just give this to a coat with the cheese sauce I'm going to butter 9 by 13 inch baking pan we're going to wait to assembling for the macaroni and cheese look at all those big elbow Alright, let's just put this of the pasta and the cheese sauce right into the prepared pan. That was so heavier. I'm just gonna carefully don't want to break it. I'm gonna spread it over it. I gotta use the rubber spatula to scraping the excess cheese off. I don't want it to get to waste after butter the pan. I'm just gonna get to hurry for the Parmesan cheese for the toppings. So my partner wants me to add for the Gouda cheese. It has for the nutty flavor. Right, that's enough about the Gouda cheese. Okay, if I have some leftover cheeses, I'm going to use it for the white American singles made from fat. I'm going to put a slice of the white cheeses, white American. Just want to layer it. We're almost layered. I think I'm guessing 
12 slices of white American single cheese has been sliced. I decided I can make a crunchy toppings they use it with four for cover each of the Italian breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese has been grated. Just want to sprinkle right on top of that. We're going to put this in the oven for 20 minutes or either 25. I'm going to see how long it takes for it. That I just preheat for 400 degrees. I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks. This is it. I think that's after 20 minutes. Took it out from the oven. I just get to keep it warm before I get ready to serve it. Really warm or really hot, I guess so. I'm probably sure it's gonna be buttery tasty on mac and cheese. But anyway, hope it's gonna be, you know, just when you think about it. Give me a big thumbs up for anyone. Write me in comments below before you go to share my videos. Hope you guys enjoy. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Worldwide Campus News and Entertainment. Then ring the bell to see all notifications about the new videos and the latest video.